แม้ประเทศไทยจะมีหน่วยงานที่ดูแลด้านชลประทานและมีมาตรการจัดการน้ำมากมายแต่ปัญหาภัยแล้งก็ยังคงสร้างความเดือดร้อนให้กับเกษตรกรทุกปีวันนี้ซูเปอร์สายเลยจะพาทุกคนมาพูดคุยกับนักวิจัยจากประเทศอิสราเอลถึงการจัดการน้ำที่ประสบความสำเร็จของประเทศเขากันค่ะโอเค in order to fight drought first you need to see where you have your water resources and to identify them and to work on those water resources. In Israel, we have several water sources uh, and each one of them is important. Sometimes we're even using the water twice. We drink the water and then we go to the toilet and then the uh, uh, effluent is going to a treatment plant and we will use this water again, of course, after treatment for irrigation, uh, irrigating uh, tree plants. Um, We, we have uh, groundwater, we have surface water, we have now a new source, a desalination water from the sea and it's also very important uh, a source of water because it's coming uh, in very precise concentration and very precise time. Uh, basically we have various resources that uh, each one of them is important. Uh, one of the important uh, things that we have in Israel that water costs money for the farmer and also for, of course, domestic use and uh, uh, factories. Everybody is paying for money. Uh, of course, it depends on the quality of the, of the uh, water, but everybody will pay. Therefore, there is price and people want to uh, uh, consume less water because they pay for it. Regarding the agriculture in Israel, we mainly use drip irrigation. This is the main irrigation method that we use. 70% of the irrigated fields are drip irrigated. Drip irrigation that was invented in Israel is successfully used by farmers. It's not only water, it's also fertilizers that we put inside the drip irrigation system. Uh, I'm talking about fertigation and uh, in the right time, in the right amount, you can supply water and nutrients into the root zone of the plants to have optimal yield and optimal growth of the plant. Saving water is very important. Uh, water is very valuable resource. It's not only the quantity of water, it's also the quality of water uh, that you want to save and you don't want that your water resources, you want to keep the water resources sustainable for the next generation. Uh, therefore, you need to use as less water as possible to produce as much crop as you can. You can do it with drip irrigation, you can do it with other methods like mulching the soil surface, and there are other methods that can help with water use efficiency. Uh, just flooding the fields with a lot of water is probably not the most efficient way, and uh, I hope that in Thailand Uh, people in, in the future will think about more sophisticated method, sensors in the system in order to save water, in order to uh, increase water use efficiency. Of course, there is some uh, price associated with this uh, uh, change in irrigation system, but I think in the end it's worth it. And we will save water and we will increase the water use efficiency. Mm -hmm.